All right. Okay, here we go. Here's the podcast. All right, last week I was telling you guys about how I have I discovered the magic word when complaining um, to corporations that the word is uh, unacceptable. All right? And just in case you guys feel that I don't know what I'm talking about, which is exactly what you should feel because I am a moron, um, I got this great email from somebody. Where the fuck is it? God damn it. I thought I had it. You know what? I am the worst. Why do you guys listen to this fucking podcast? No, no, no. I know. I, I put. I had it right fucking here in front of me. All right, it's back on the. It's back on track. I actually got. I actually got a, a an email from somebody who answers the phones for one of those big corporations. All right. And if you want to learn how to do it, I explained it last in last week's podcast. At least my story of how I went about um, getting my money back. So, so this guy sends me this really nice letter. He says. Uh, just want to say your podcasts are fucking hilarious. Keep them coming. Um, you should do a show in Omaha sometime. Uh, that's a rough one, dude. Omaha is a rough one. I will at some point. All right? I just have to get psyched up for that. the 28 planes I'm going to have to take to get there. That's one of those like fucking states you have to fly past it to fly into a hub city, you know, to finally get there. You know, oh, I'm flying to Omaha via fucking Tampa. What? All right, um, here we go. Bill, um, also, I wanted to say, when dealing with corporations, using the word, the unacceptable line does work. I am a support agent for a well-known financial com company. If someone is continually a pain in the ass about something and are persistent about it, eventually, they will get their way. You guys hear that? I know it's morning for some of you. You're stirring your coffee. Did you hear that? If someone is continually a pain in the ass about something and are persistent about it, eventually they will get their way. Usually, as a customer service representative, we are encouraged to try and steer the conversation away from, the, from things like credits and try to offer other suggestions. And that's the part where you get mad because you're not getting what you want. But that's where you have to keep you cool, all right? So anyways, he says, uh, basically, we try to bullshit them a little and try and put them at ease. Yeah, lie to them, okay? But if a customer is still not happy, we will give a credit or whatever you want, as long as it's reasonable. That's fair, um, just to get you off the phone. However, if you start using profanity um, while on the phone call, chances are we will try and find ways not to help you or disconnect the call altogether. Regardless of rules and procedures, representatives do have the ability to make judgment calls. Basically, if you call the customer service rep a cunt, I will guarantee you they will not help you. Stick to using the unacceptable line, don't give up, and you eventually will get what you want. See that, people? There you go. Now... You have the information you need from a professional rather than some moron comedian who almost got in a fight outside of a pancake house. Um, I actually won another one this week. All right? I ordered the NHL package, the center rice package, and I asked him, hey, you know, so I says to the guy, I just sound like I was doing fucking uh, vaudeville. So I asked the guy, I says, hey, buddy, what's with the chicken soup? Um... I asked, I, asked the, I asked the lady when I ordered it, does it come with the NHL channel? And she says, hold on, let me check. And she says, why, yes, yes, it does. And I said, then you know what? You got yourself a deal. I will take the center ice package with the NHL channel. So she says, okay. All right, so they boot the fucking thing up. And the next day, lo and behold, I don't have the NHL channel. So I call up, and what do they say to me? They say, hey, hello, sir, what can I do for you? And I tell them my deal and I said oh we actually she, in her notes she left she said that you hung up before the call was over and I was like no I didn't I immediately got pissed too I kind of fucked this phone call up a little bit in the beginning I went the cunt route but I didn't say it but then I, I got it back on track I was like no I didn't and you guys like well according to uh her notes you did and I was like well according to my memory uh I was on the phone call and you weren't Okay, so now what? I'm like, so now what? She gets to just say something happened. She writes it down to cover her ass, you know? And, you know, so that's when I kind of got mad, but then I was able to bring it back and just say, look, the conversation ended with her going, thank you very much. Is there anything else I can help you with? What do you think? I was halfway through ordering it, and she was going, hang on a second, sir. Hang on. I was like, too late. Goodbye. I didn't do that. All right? 
And the guy's like, well, I have to charge you $5 a month for this channel. This is, this is like the zero tolerance I have. I am arguing $5 a month, which is going to be 30 bucks over the course of the six-month season. And I'm like, no, I'm not paying that, okay? And the guy goes, well, I, I, can't, I can't give it to you. I don't know what to do. I go, all right, well, then cancel the center rice package. And the guy goes, I, I can't do that. I go, what do you mean you can't do that? And he goes, you can't cancel it once you order it. I go, so you mean to tell me that I ordered something it's in what you told me it was, it isn't, and now I can't cancel it, and you can't rectify the situation? Is that any way to buy a business, run a business? And the guy's like, well, I go, that's unacceptable. I want to talk to somebody else. So I get this next guy on the phone. At this point, I finally calmed down, and I was able to use that line. Sir, I understand you, you, know, you don't make the rules. I know this wasn't your call, but this was the scenario, okay? Well, blah, 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 blah. If you can't give me the channel for free, like I told it was, you know, that it came with the package, I would like to cancel Center Rice. The guy goes, well, I can't do either one of those, but this is what I can do. Your DVR costs you 10 bucks a month. How about I give you three free months of DVR? That'll be 30 bucks discount, and the whole thing will be a wash. And I was like, you know what? You got yourself a deal. Bam. 2-0. and oh. Turning this franchise around, a perennial losing franchise. And just like the fucking Saints, I am now a factor. I am now a fucking factor. So in the last two weeks, I got $25 back and I got $30 back. I am plus 55. I'm like a degen the, the mush in uh, a Bronx tale and I'm finally winning. I'm, I'm plus, I save myself 55 bucks. Do you know how many tube socks you can buy with 55 bucks?